commission projects here. My wife needs an elephant, a pig, a cow, a llama, and a 16 inch round. And then on top of that, I need to at least use up some corners of a piece of wood that I cut for another project. So let's start with the elephant. Let's go ahead and do this one, trace it. Okay. And let's bring in the pig. Where's the pig? There's the pig. All right. My hands accidentally jumped on that. Okay. A pig, a cow. And a llama. There we go. All right. Oh, that'll be fun. All right. Some of these I have not cut yet. So I need to make sure these are all about 10 inch. So width, height. Let's go 10. All right. I'm just going to move these around. I feel like it's going to use the best space over here. Okay. Cow. 10 inches wide. Let's just get him out of the way here. Hmm. Not true. Let's try turning him. There we go. Right. So I feel like that's pretty good. I'm actually going to move the llama up just a little bit. All right, the elephant. Oh, I got 10 inches. Okay. This llama is going to be huge. I feel like this llama is way too big. Hmm. All right, let's do that. I know what she asked for, but it's a very tall llama. Okay. Here's our elephant and ultimately our pig. Pig, she wanted 10 inches wide. And then inside, I see. So then she also wanted a 16 inch circle. So I don't think that's going to happen on the same one. So like this and this. Let's go ahead and spin this back. cow in I don't really like this cow it's a little weird but she likes it that's all that matters all right let's see let's change this angle let's try putting these guys back over here again I'm gonna go ahead and flip this guy okay there's that Well, ultimately, this is a little weird. Let's try. Can I hide a second llama? Let's go back and do this. So let's do a second llama. Let's rotate this thing 180. And the 
let's move him up. Okay. So I think if I move him into the corner just a little bit here, I can probably stick a cow's legs. Well, maybe not that. Let's try the pig. Oh, yeah, there we go. All right. So now I can fit a pig up there. We got a cow. And then she's got to have her elephant. So that's going to be that's the right size. Okay. Um, well, I like the pig better than the cow. So I'm just going to give her another pig. And I guess we're going to call that good. So I can move this over a little bit. Looks like we still have room. <laughs> Let's see here. All right, just for fun, since I've got a little bit of room, she's been wanting to do another lizard. I'm going to try. Um, I want to flip this guy. Let's see if I can fit him. Here. Let's move the elephant down. Move that up just a hair. Okay, so that opens up some room. Let's go ahead. I'm going to bring in another lizard. Gecko. Gecko? It says a gecko. All right. And we're going to have to make this guy smaller. So let's start with six. Just hate to waste wood if I don't have to. Oh yeah, that fits nice. I don't know how it's going to cut, but we'll try it. Let me try mirroring this guy and see if I can move him over here. So we've got the cow, and then there's that pig. All right, well, I might be able to stretch this guy out now. Let's try a 10-inch gecko. <laughs> this is definitely like a big uh, big Tetris game here. Okay, so that's how I thought it would fit. Uh, let me shrink him down just a hair. Let's go to 9. How about 9? Aha. And... going to turn him just a little bit. Let's go negative 20. Okay. Aha, there it is. All right. So now we have basically no wasted space. Is there any animal that I could fit in this hole? If I move this over just a hair, maybe I can fit a little something in here, make her something small. Um, let's open up what would look good. We got a B, maybe a B. Uh, no, I don't like that B anyway. Okay, let's go to let's see. We got chickens, cats, How about a tiny French bulldog sitting, a heart. Mushroom. Oh, I bet you I can fit a small mushroom in there. Let's try this. All right, so let's try a four inch mushroom. There we go. All right, no wasted wood. All right, boom, 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 boom. Okay, so let's create a tool path. We've got our contour. Um, we're using quarter inch bit, half of 125 is 650. Um, the depth per pass, let me double check my math, but if I remember right, that's what we're at. So, <laughs> yeah, 0 0.0625, sorry. So it's 25, um, 10,000 feed rate, that's all what I've been using, so that's good, okay. And, Okay, and I don't know that that matters, but I always do it. Oops. Yeah, it helps if 
deselect everything. All right, there we go. Now let's contour and So instead of taking, so if I've got quarter inch, let's try going in three passes. We're going to go, so I've been doing it in uh, half of the eighth inch bit, but those four passes take forever. I'm going to try just going just a hair deeper so that it gets through quarter inch in uh, three passes. We'll do that. And uh, what do I need? Inside left, no offset, or outside right. I think outside right is what I've been using on the animal, so we're going to do that. Okay. And let's show the simulation. So do all, all the animals look okay? Boom, boom, boom. Okay, everything looks good. So... Oh. Let me hook up my flash drive here, save the G code, and uh, menagerie. And we're going to save this. And all right, so that is everything that is now saved. And let's go print it. It is time for my last project of the day. This one is going to be a bunch of animals like you saw me put together. So I need to make sure I've got a full thing of tape. Now, I've done a bunch of cutting today. And, you know, every time I do this, I'm learning something. Uh, the first thing I learned today is when you have a very high boom holding your hose, make sure someone doesn't come out to the garage and open the garage door. Uh, that did almost not go well. Uh, but second to that is I've had a little bit of adhesion problems where it's hit or miss on my boards. Uh, so I am now taking just a damp rag and just wiping down uh, the boards before I put them down. And I think that is going to help alleviate a lot of my problems. And this one's going to need five pieces of tape because I've got all kinds of pieces in between. So we're going to make sure we have good contact on the board. I am finding that it's better to have a little extra tape than to find out that the drill bit started spinning around on a piece and knocking it out of alignment and digging into it and making a mess. And sadly I've already had that happen a few times. Alright, so I have wiped down this board so it is definitely a lot better than it was. Oh, I need to take my tape off. Sometimes it's easier than other times peeling up this tape. I'm certainly not perfect at this, nor do I think I will be anytime soon. here. After today, I'm definitely getting a little dead blow hammer. And we need 
to bring this home again. Uh, I always try to remember to raise that Z axis just in case it's higher or lower than I want it to be. Let me get this plugged in. All right, let's probe this. Okay, so that's gonna probe it. And we are probed. All right, like that. Let's get the dust boot on. Now, something I did change after the last one is I raised up my. Uh, let me show you. So I have, I have sort of this boom rigged up that holds my uh, whole hose system. And originally, it was maybe like this high. And I thought, well, since the boom can move around, it would be fine. Well, it was pulling on certain corners and actually it was pulling out of the little uh, magnetic boot there. So what I did is I raised it up almost all the way to where my garage door is now since it actually got hit by my garage door. So it's as high as I can go, but now it's got plenty of cord to move around and the boom, uh, the boom can freely swing this way. So that has made a big difference on that last cut. It's all about learning, and uh, I'm getting there. All right, so there's that. Let's get some eyes on, get some ears on, and let's cut some animals. <laughs> And away we go. This is going to be a uh, it's 57 minutes, so basically an hour-long cut. We'll keep an eye on it as it goes along. And we're off and running with the cow. I never get tired of watching this thing cut. It's just always so, uh, I don't know, it's fun to watch. So. All right, we're going to come back in a little bit. I am feeling pretty confident with right now. I need to run into the house for something and then we'll come back out and see how it's doing. All right. So we're making pretty good progress. Still got uh, 40 minutes to go here. I love cutting animals though. They always look so good. We are, uh, we've got about 30 minutes left now. Just started on the gecko in the middle. They just keep going on. this out of the way. All right. Okay. 
And here's what the finished product looks like. You can see we got two llamas, elephant, an extra coaster, uh, gecko, pig, two pigs, and a cow. So we will get those all pulled off here. And uh, that should be it for the day. Well, I will say wiping down, wiping down that wood definitely helped uh, everything stick because uh, I can feel a difference just trying to pull off this negative space here. It's already sticking harder. So, but llama llama. All right, well, until next time, have a good one. We'll talk later.